Well, hey everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood pastor, Nate. Just uh, checking in and connecting with you as I have been doing on a daily basis. Uh, some announcements for some things that are going to be happening this coming Sunday for our worship. Um, like you may have seen in my video yesterday, uh, we are still going to be continuing to do our drive up worship uh, and so you can connect on the radio or you can connect virtually by uh, watching our live stream for service. But if you are going to be coming and driving up to church, uh, starting at 9 o'clock, I was wrong yesterday, I said 9.15, but it is starting at 9 o'clock, we are going to be providing some food and coffee on the west side of the church. So you can just drive through the alleyway, uh, going from south to north to do a pickup of some food and coffee to enjoy during your worship that starts at 9.30. Also, on Sunday, we are going to be doing communion. So I want to encourage you to bring, uh, your, bring your own wine, pop, water, uh, whatever you want to use uh, for the drinking and then uh, something to use for the bread. And we will be doing the words of institution and taking communion together in our vehicles. Or if you are taking communion, you can join us at home by having the elements present there as well. But as I've been considering like the service and I've been looking at the text for this Sunday and knowing that we're going to be doing communion, something that I wanted to talk about with you today was unity within the body of Christ. Uh, one of the texts that is available for study on this Sunday, it comes from Acts 2, verses 42 through 47. And, you know, that is really, well, I'll just quickly read it for you. If you want to read along, uh, absolutely, like, go ahead and grab your Bible and join us. But in Acts uh, 2, 42 through 47, uh, we're going to actually, yeah, 42 through 47, it says this. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship to the breaking of bread and, and the prayers. And awe came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and, belongings, and distributed the proceeds to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. So as we come together as a body of Christ, whether you come to Bethlehem or you go to the Reformed Church, the First Congregational Church, Methodist Church, Baptist Church, uh, Catholic Church, whatever tribe you are a part of, uh, you are a part of the community of believers that we create together in the body of Christ. And as we do that, we are, as this body, supposed to have unity within ourselves, unity within the larger body, so that we can meet the needs of those who are in that body with us. Sell our possessions, give our possessions, give of ourself, so that others are lifted up and out of uh, situations that they may be in that's holding them back or holding them down so that we can just have joy together in what God is doing in our community. I believe that Bethlehem has been doing a really great job at this and uh, so have the other congregations in Buffalo Center right now. Um, we're, we've all been stepping up and been modeling the body of Christ differently in this new season. And I want to encourage you to continue to do that. That what we see in Acts 2, I don't know if I'm really going to preach on it this Sunday or not, but we see the model for what the church can and should look like. That there's unity within us and that we are, you know, there for one each other. Not, not giving each other a handout, but giving each other a hand up so that we can praise God together and see these wonderful things that he's doing. And as we do that, I believe that we're going to continue to see God adding to the number of his church daily. And we're going to see more and more people coming to Christ because the body isn't 
acting in the stereotypical way that people see the church being as you know i've heard many times people referring to the christians as just being hypocrites because they hold themselves in lofty ivory towers while condemning others and yet they themselves are sinners as well where in many ways that there is some truth to that but what we're seeing happen now more than ever is people setting aside these lofty ideas of what they believe a Christian to be, and they're setting aside the me and focusing more on the we. And I think that we really need to push into that and press into that so that we can be the body of Christ together even more as we continue on through the season. So that's just something I wanted to encourage you on and you know commend you on for doing but uh absolutely that we need to keep that momentum going in this next season that we are experiencing as his church not we're not we're not lutheran we're not methodist we're not reformed yes those are doctrinal things that we hold dear within our own tribes but what is more important is that we are his church we are under his authority, we are within his kingdom, and as we submit ourselves to that and lift each other up in it, we're going to see that manifested even more, which I think is exciting and amazing. So that's, yeah, that's why I want to leave you with what I've been thinking about today. Um, but I also want to ask you guys, you know, I've been sharing a lot of what is on my mind, what I'm thinking about, but what are you thinking about? What are the things that you would like me, topics that you would like me to address or talk about in these daily videos? Because I also want to, you know, speak into your life and your concerns as well. So please feel free to post in the comments either on our YouTube page or on Facebook some things or something or some things that you would like to hear me uh approach from a biblical standpoint so we can have a little more dialogue in uh, these daily videos. But before I close, I want to end with our Our Daily Bread Promise Box. So let's see what we're praying about together today. All right, so the card that I have picked for this afternoon is Psalm 37.5. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and and he shall bring it to pass. Again, you know, he's been awesome with how we've been pulling the car these cards. We've been talking about unity within the body and submitting ourselves to one another and even more submitting ourselves to him. So as we commit ourselves unto him in his way, then he's going to bring all things to pass for the glory of his kingdom. So let's pray about that together right now well father son and holy spirit today and every day we want to commit to you everything that is going on with your church lord we just submit all into your authority and into your hands so that you can bring everything to pass that needs to happen for your glory to be manifested in and through us so that Day by day, you can be adding to the number of people that are saved and brought into a more intimate relationship with you. So we thank you for what you're doing, and we thank you for what you have in store for your church. All this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me again today, and I want to encourage you again to comment below on things that you want me to talk about, or just let me know how you're doing, and like and subscribe uh, on Facebook and on our YouTube page, on our YouTube if you want to get notifications on when we are uploading videos, go ahead and click that little bell, and you can get notifications on uh, when we are launching more videos. But for now, this is your friendly neighborhood pastor, Nate. And I'm out.